Hey guys, Mixmedia Girl here. So as all good stories start out, I was at the dollar store and I saw these little foam star pieces. So I thought I would give it a go in a painting. I do wish they were flat so they would sit flat on the canvas, but I'm going to just kind of make it work. And we'll see how cool it comes out. Maybe I'll try to find some flat ones or get some more and cut the bottoms off or something like that. There's lots of options, but we're going to pour over them and see what effects they have. I do have uh, toothpicks in here, A, so I can hold them as I'm pouring, and B, so I can easily take them off the canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bowl. I'm using some leftover paint. Uh, this is a nine by 12 canvas. So I'm just using, uh, like I said, leftover paint in there, which was all different kinds of paint. And then otherwise I'm using Primarily Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixed with Floetrol and water. All the paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. But I do also have some of the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Gold in there. And then, of course, whatever else was already in there before. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of blue. This is neon blue from the Arteza Ready Mixed Pouring Paints. So just a little bit. All right, and that should be plenty. So here we go. Um, or maybe I won't even try holding them. Let's just try pouring over them and see what happens. Like I said, no idea if this will particularly work mainly because they don't sit flat on the canvas, but it will do something, <laughs> right? It will give us some reaction here because it's not the same as just straight pouring on the canvas. Okay, I'm gonna go in here with just a little bit more. I had some really pretty pink at the end that I liked. Do a little more white, gold, and red, I think. All right. And this gold, if anyone hasn't seen me use it in previous videos, I have noticed it to make, um, to definitely be a kind of paint that makes cells. So, I think that should create some excitement there. All right, so already you can see the lines around there. It didn't quite get the star shape that I was hoping for, which would have been similar to like the bottom bottle pour, bottle bottom. Bottle bottom pour. Yeah, there you go. That's a mouthful. So I think if these were sitting flat, that would have been really cool. But still did create patterns. And it's a very cheap trial. I think I will either cut the bottoms off of these or try to get some more and cut the bottoms off. But super cool. Look at all those. Let's tilt. Okay. That is super duper pretty, actually, surprisingly. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and do a close up. Well, we'll let it sit for a few minutes, actually. See if uh, some cells pop up and stuff, and then we'll do our close-up. All right, so here we go for our close-up. I'm loving this pink over here, actually, and you can see a little bit those gold cells coming through. And if you look at the angle, you can see that gold has just a super awesome shimmer. Some pretty purple in there. Got a lot of really pretty colors in here. It was primarily warm colors. 
but then with a, a dash of blue and then also whatever was in the cup already because it was leftover paint. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And I just want to remind you that I am doing um, the fun video where if you guys want to send me something from the dollar store, after I get five items, I'm going to go ahead and use all of them in a painting, no matter what they are, just not food related. Um, so I still need a few more to do that painting. I'm pretty excited about it. So if you want to participate in that, I'll put my address down in the description and I will see you all next time.